Hey, Laurie, it's good that we're meeting up on Zoom uh, today for Celebrate Wonder. It's Pastor Meredith. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to find some inner peace. My house, you know, everybody's in there and it's quarantine time and I just had to get some peace. So Mortimer and Laud and I were out here doing some deep breathing and, and it seems to be helping. Ready? Here we go again, Laud. Well, Miss Laurie and Laud and Mortimer are looking for some inner peace today. Maybe we can do that too. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder, everybody. I'm Pastor Meredith here with Miss Laurie and Laud the Lamb and Mortimer the reindeer. And it's really good to be together today for our time of worship and prayer and celebration. Um, I want to encourage you, if you have not already done so, of course, to get your Celebrate Wonder kit. You can uh, join us, get, get all those activities and things that you need. Just call the church office and we'll connect you with those things. Laurie will come out of her peaceful pose and, and will help us do that. But we're really glad you're here with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church today as we celebrate wonder. Why don't we um, join Miss Laurie in a peaceful pose and we'll uh, then maybe head into our wonder tables. Let's do it, everybody. Hello, everybody. Can you believe it? It is week 13 of Celebrate Wonder. 13 weeks. And here we are at our wonder table. I have my friend Laud, and this is Morty. He's new for the holiday season. Now, I am Miss Lori at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I am the Youth and Children Director. This is Laud. Mm -hmm. We are here at our wonder table. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to light our candle. Pastor Meredith, are you ready to light your candle too? I have my candle at my wonder table and I'm ready to light it. We light the candle, not the lamp. There we go, we're ready to go. So, you know, I've been wondering, I've had some questions and what a place to ask but the wonder table. What do you think it would be like to like lay down, maybe take a nap with a wild animal? With a wild animal? Are you kidding me? What? I, it's just a question. You haven't thought it? Mm. He really doesn't recommend it, but you know. Uh, well, um, let's see. Uh, lie down with a wild animal. Like say, I've got this, my friend Wolfie here. Like if I were to lie down with Wolfie, I think it would be soft and furry for a little bit, but then there might be a lot of teeth and um, biting after that. So maybe not as much fun as I would think. I think you might be right. But is there a way we, to just be peaceful? You know, I don't know. Maybe our Bible story for today. Oh, it's one of my very favorites. It's from the prophet Isaiah. And it's about a vision, a dream. You know, last week we talked about Jacob's dream of, of a ladder going up to heaven and back and about God's blessing coming to him and to his family. But today in our Bible story from Isaiah, and it's chapter 11, verses six through nine, I hope you guys will read that out of your Bibles. We hear about a bigger dream and even a bigger vision that God has for the world. And the writer of Isaiah puts it this way, that God's peace will look like when a lion or a wolf can lie down with a lamb and with when creatures who don't get along like maybe my wolf and my uh, little deer here and laud the lamb and the wolf and the tiger can lay down and be peaceful together and uh, the writer sees this whole vision of peace for people who don't get along get along and have peace with one another, which is an amazing vision for our world. Don't you think? What a wonderful vision for who we can be and how we can be peaceful together when uh, things are so right in our world that even Laud the lamb and the tiger and the wolf and my little dear friend and my wolf friend 
and um, all peoples can live together at peace. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I think that's really awesome. And now Laud wasn't scared. Good, I'm so glad you're not scared, Laud. Should we roll our wonder cube and see if we can uh, see some questions, uh, ask some wonder questions about our story? Okay, I've got mine, I'm gonna roll. Remember, everybody get, oh, everybody has to go down over there. Uh, remember to get your wonder cube out and when you read your Bible story to roll your wonder cube and ask some questions. Okay, I got, I wonder, where did you see God in the Bible story? That's a good question. I see God in the, in the power of God to help us to make peace with one another and that wonderful vision of peace. What about you, Laurie? Okay, I'm gonna roll. Oh, I got the same thing you did. And again, all right. I wonder, what would you change about the Bible story? I don't know. It was kind of scary at first, though, thinking about lying down with wild animals. But I think we could all be peaceful together. I think I you're know. right. This, you know, a snake, that would be, I don't know. You maybe, maybe I, do that. If I could change anything, I might leave snakes out of the story. I, I would, I would, I, I'm not a fan. Luna has come to join me and she, she thinks dinosaurs should have been in the story. That would have been an excellent change. That's a good suggestion, Luna, that the That's dinosaurs should be part. Well, should we pray together before we have watch our Bible story video? I think we should. I think we should. All right, let's bow our heads. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for teaching me. Thank you for teaching me how to be a blessing of peace. How to be a blessing of peace. Amen. Amen. Okay, everybody, make sure you uh, watch really close. It's time for our Bible study video, and we'll see you again in a few minutes. Bye. Bye. Greetings, everyone. My name is Gabby. Come wander with me. Wait, what's that? Wow, it's a wolf. Let me look a little bit closer. Is that a lamb next to it? Normally, I'd be really, really scared for the lamb. We don't see those animals peacefully next to each other. Usually the lamb is in a lot of danger, but this amazing vision is God's dream of a peaceful world. A world where we can all live together and not be afraid. A world where a small child could put its hand next to a den of snakes and nothing would happen to the child. A world where we can live in joy and hope, not in fear and sadness. In this vision of God's dream for the world, Different things that normally don't get along can live in peace with each other. This is beautiful, but sometimes I wonder if it can happen. I know this world is not perfect, and this vision seems like a perfect world. Even though it can be difficult to see, God imagines a world of peace for all of us. Remember, a blessing is something that God provides. And God's blessing is that God shares this dream of a peaceful world with us. God shares this vision with us so that we can work with God to make it real. Helping can look like a lot of things, like being nice when others are being mean. Maybe it's telling your family that you love them or it's doing service and helping others when you can. Taking care of the earth is another awesome way to lead to God's beautiful vision. We all can participate in God's dream of spreading peace. I know it's hard some days, but it would be amazing if we could see this dream in our daily lives. When you participate in God's vision of peace, remember the picture of the wolf and the lamb. God's dream for the world is that we can all live in peace, and we can help make that happen. Now it's your turn to wonder. Hi 
everybody. We are going to do for art today, you're gonna to need some things from around your house. You might find some newspapers or some ads. We've gotten a lot of ads lately. Uh, magazines, another newspaper. You might also just draw. You don't have to cut things out and glue them if you don't want to. You could just draw. But find things around your house. And what we wanna do is we wanna think about how God looks at our world and how we look at our world. What do you think he sees? What do we see as we look around? And what does God see when he looks around? So we're gonna make a collage. It could be a collage of words, a collage of pictures, a collage of drawings of what you think God sees when he sees us. Now I already started here. And I, I found the word best and I found the word big. So I've got those here. And what I'm trying to find is a picture of a heart. And if I don't find one, there's an Addison sighting. If I don't find one, I could just draw it, right? But I do see here in the Oriental trading that there are some things with some hearts here, right? So I particularly like this teddy bear here, but I also really like this heart picture of the nativity. You've got Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. And I'm gonna put that on here too. Because I hope he sees us celebrating Christmas and the birth of his son, Jesus. So you're just gonna fill this page with all the things that you think or hoping God is seeing right now when he looks at us. So happy cutting, gluing and drawing. Thanks guys. Okay adults, it's time for our spiritual practice for this week about peace. Now, one thing you could do this week is certainly follow Miss Laurie's lead. Take a step outside when you're feeling really stressed and unpeaceful. Take a deep breath and just center yourself outside. That is a wonderful, simple spiritual practice that may be perfect for you this week. Another spiritual practice that I would encourage you toward is um, to maybe think about a person that you are struggling to have a peaceful relationship with. Think about that person and then take, uh, maybe write their name down in your prayer journal if you use a prayer journal, or maybe take a sticky note and write their name down on that and then put that somewhere where you can see it, maybe on the refrigerator, maybe on your bathroom mirror. And then I encourage you to pray for that person and pray about how your relationship together can be more peaceful as a way that we can really live into this vision of peace that God has for us and for our world. Hope that you have a peaceful week, adults, that you take those deep breaths, that you do those prayers uh, for that person that uh, you need that peaceful relationship with. Thanks so much. See you again. Hi, everybody. I am so glad that you've joined us for another week of Celebrate Wonder. And you do have your celebration chart. This is our last week for this celebration chart. Next week, you get a brand new one, okay? It's a little bit Christmas related too. So look for that in your next kit that you've maybe already gotten. If you haven't gotten it yet, please contact us and we will get one to you because week one starts next week. But this is our first Sunday of Advent that we've had. So in your new kit that you're getting, you're going to get something that looks like this right here. And it has, you cut it out. It's not cooperating, but you cut this out and you also cut out these little flames that you can put on. All right. You also have the option of, I'm gonna let Pastor Meredith show you the other kit right there. And you just call the office and you can come pick one of those up too if you don't have it, okay? Or just email me or text, whatever, and we will get you an Advent kit and a, or a Celebrate and or a Celebrate Wonder kit. 
So that's what we've got going on. What do you think, Pastor Meredith? I think it's great. Like Miss Laurie said, this last Sunday was our first Sunday of Advent. And Advent is the season where we get ready and prepared for the birth of Jesus Christ again and celebrating his birthday at Christmas. And one of our very special traditions is to use our Advent wreaths like we have here and like Miss Laurie has there to help us with our preparations and getting ready. Now, just out of curiosity, what are some of the preparations and things that you do in your family to get ready, Miss Laurie, for Christmas? Oh my goodness. Well, we get out our nativity sets and we have some little villages that we, a village we put out. We have um, some people join us, like, you know, Morty here, Christmas trees. So, so it sounds like you guys get lots of decorations going, and that's one of the mm -hmm. ways that you prepare and get ready. Stockings, mm -hmm. Advent calendars. We do, those, we do those too at our house. One of the things that I also love to do to get ready for Christmas and celebrating Jesus' birth is thinking about presents I want to give to other people too, which is a oh, lot that's of great. Fun. Those are wonderful ways to get ready. Now, one of the things uh, that we're going to do right now is encourage you, if you have your Advent wreath, to light your very first candle, which is our candle of hope. Miss Laurie's going to do that with her tape. And I'm going to do that right here with my flames. I hope. And as you light your candle of hope, I want you to think about the word hope. And, and ponder, think about what's, one, what's something that you are hoping for this Advent. Very nice, Miss Laurie. Miss Laurie and Laud, what's something you are hoping for this Advent? I'm hoping for us to stay healthy and to enjoy each other as a family. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a great, that's a wonderful hope. I am hoping also that all of our friends and neighbors and folks can stay healthy. And I hope that for those who are ill and who are feeling alone right now, that they will get well soon and that we can help each other not feel alone. That is one of my big hopes this Advent. So why don't we end with our prayer? We love you all. And why don't you pray with me and repeat after me. God of hope. God of hope. Help us create. Help us create a peaceful world for all. A peaceful world for all. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining with us today for week 13 of Celebrate Wonder. Remember to hang out for a few minutes because we're going to have our singing video that's right after this. So make sure you stick around to sing. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Sometimes you don't move fast enough for me, and I start playing tricks to get what I think I need, cause I
to oh.